fire the stock chicken and not drain it out. Internal temps are key to the wettest chicken, as you can see here, just the constant drip. This is a whole spatchcock chicken. What I do with these is I probe that breast. You can see the probe in there, the meter probe, and the center core of that breast. You want to take it to 160 internal. Yes, safe eating temp is 165, but pull it. You let it rest for about 10 minutes. That carryover will cook a little bit more, catch up to that 165 safe eating temp, and you'll never have dry chicken again.